Brown reporting to you from the Commodity Class. And on behalf of Brownfield Ag News, we're at the Maristim Ag booth here uh, at the trade show floor. And joining me today, I've got Western Iowa farmer Kelly Garrett on the far end and Maristim Senior Vice President of Sales, Peter Rusinellis, joining us to talk about some of the new innovations happening here at the Commodity Classic. To kick things off, how's the show going so far, guys? So far, the show's been good. It's, uh, it's been so far well attended. We had we had a good turnout yesterday, and this morning started off a little slow, but it's really kicked up here the last couple hours. Kelly, how about you? It's been a great show. It's one of my favorite weeks of the year. All the progressive mindsets, positive attitudes, you know, seeing friends from a year ago, things like that. It, it's a it's a busy week, but a great week. So I know there's a lot to talk about, a lot to see and do here at Classic, but let's talk more about what Maristim is, is talking about this week. I know there's some new and innovative things happening. Uh, fungicide approvals have come through. Let's talk about some of those new products. Peter, um, what do we need to know about metal axle and pre-flight? Yeah, so on that, uh, that's, a, that's a revolutionary new thing that's happened for us. The, you know, like you said, the EPA approvals, we were able to launch now uh, bio control. We're in the biofertility space with our with our product that, that's powered by biocapsule, where we can deliver technology to the to the seed trench through the graphite uh, delivery mechanism. Now we're in the bio control space, and as you mentioned, we were able to announce in a, in a, in a press release here a couple days ago that uh, we officially got EPA approval for metal axle and a product called Prefight to be delivered through the uh, soybean tau graphite product that's going to that will replace the need for liquid seed treatment. Okay, so why is that such a game changer for farmers? It's a game changer for farmers because they basically get to take control of that application. You know, um, that's usually done uh, at, a, at a retail level or, or, at a, or at the seed level. And so now the farmer can buy their beans naked and, uh, and, and save that cost of the treatment. And with the value that's in the pail, they can basically buy the treatment plus all the other uh, beneficials we have in the pail for the same cost that they would have previously in just the treatment. That's good to know, and it sounds like a really good innovative product. And I know, Kelly, you're a big fan of Maristem, but let's talk a little bit more about your farm. Um, tell us more a little bit, bit about how you grow a good corn crop. I know you have such a good reputation and able to uh, produce a really good yield. We, uh, we farm in the Lust Hills of Western Iowa, so it can be challenging because of the elevation change. It can also be challenging because of the base saturation problem. We have too much calcium. It ties up a lot of the fertility. We use a few different Maristin products as our grower standard practice that, that really helps us make higher yields. Okay, so what? which products are you most uh, glad Excavator to use? Excavator and the Hopper Throttle are two of the main products that I will mention. And But for me with Maristim, I'm most excited about the bucket. You know, the Excavator and the Hopper Throttle are great products, but the potential of this bucket, you know, what Peter and I talk about going forward and how we can customize this, you know, I, I have in in furrow or planter applied fertility on my planter but that's less than 10 percent of the growers in the united states this bucket offers planter applied fertility in another fashion that you know many growers don't want to put liquid on their planter the potential of this bucket and what they've done here is revolutionary well let's take a look at that bucket so it's pretty fancy what do all of, what does all this mean so uh, what all this means this is the corn bucket so this one is our our the one i'm holding is our revline hopper throttle corn with ether and, and what we do is, is there's a there's a tau graphite uh, component in the base for, okay. for the you know the improved simulation and diversity for the planter and then we have uh, zinc iron and manganese in the base and the zinc we have in here actually will uh, produce as much zinc in the plant as equivalent to running a quart of EDT accumulated zinc and furrow which which is a pretty standard practice if you have starter so we're able to provide that same benefit that the uh, that like Kelly had mentioned that the, the starter provides in, in the zinc the zinc is very very important at seed. And then in the capsules, you know, the real technology here is, is the biocapsules. And in these biocapsules is where we have technologies that's housed in these capsules. And, and the grower, when they want to use it, it, when they go to plant, they just pull, pull the clip and press. And when they press, everything that's in this capsule now falls into the base of the pail. And so by doing that, we're able to provide different biofertilities, um, uh, microbes that it, enhance root development, uh, mitigate stress, and, and we can, we can produce, utilize enzymes and other biofertilities. And now, as mentioned, we have biocontrols. In the uh, corn version, we actually have a product called GuardX that is, uh, that is a corn rootworm suppression product. So uh, bringing that to market is really exciting. We're able to bring that into this, this bale because of the, uh, 
because of the, the patent we have in this delivery mechanism, this really is a delivery mechanism for technology. So the farmer can easily access these technologies by deploying these at plant, shaking it up, and adding it to their planter. Is there a certain way you have to press? The, the, is there a certain way it all has to go in to be mixed? When, when they go to use it, they have the pail just like this. This treats 50 units of corn. We have the soybean version treats 40 units of beans. We also have a cotton version, a peanut version, a rice version. So this is really expanded. Uh, but all they have to do is what they're doing today. They're, however they're adding talc graphite right. today, they, they would take this pail, pull the clip like I did, yeah. deploy each one of them, shake it up for about 10 seconds, add it right to the seed. Wow. So Kelly, um, you say you really like this product and you said that you're doing a lot of innovative things on your farm that many other farmers might not have access to, which is what makes this a really great product. But uh, did I understand that right? Yeah, absolutely. So on my planter, we do have planter applied fertility and I've got nine different things in my inferno mix. This bucket could replace five of them and I could then pull all of that liquid out of the planter and lighten the load on the planter and make my make my planting more efficient. Or if another grower, for instance, doesn't want to put liquid on their planter, you know, you got four plungers here, the zinc's in the bucket with the graphite. Here's here's a five five ingredient mix for an infertile plant. It's just a different option to to starter to your traditional liquid starter. This this is amazing. And the you know a plant growth regulator, uh, the insecticide control, the zinc zinc we we put zinc on every time we go across the field. You know, and, and like you talked about, that's a cork. There's a cork that we can take out of the mix because at some point you can only carry so much. This delivery system is amazing. You talk about efficiencies, but I also want to talk about what this does for your crop. I mean, like why, why take the time to really invest in this stage of, you know, growing a crop? What, what does that do for, for you as we, a farmer? You know, past generations or things like that, at least in my geography, you're gonna put down the anhydrous and you're gonna put on the dry PNK and then we're gonna go plant. We have now learned about a reallocation of spending, of the budget, especially in today's economic frame, you know, $4 corn, things look tight. I believe that a grower can probably live, most growers can probably live off the PNK in their soil. Look at that as a savings account. Look at a product like this that's gonna return a nice ROI, bring other things into the system and that helps you that helps you in a tougher economic time. Do you know exactly what your ROI is for using this product? Uh, it, it very, we have seen some 10 bushel yield gains in corn, 12 bushel yield gains wow. in corn. Yes, and, but, and that's great, that's exciting. But I'm excited about the potential as we go forward to customize for our geography. That's really what I'm excited about. Don't, don't get me wrong, a 10 bushel yield gain is always great. But the learning that we can do here together and bring other things to the marketplace by adding different products, this is so customizable. That's well, the exciting part for me. Well, it is, right? Because every part of the country is a little different, right? right? And it's not a one size fits all kind of situation. What right. Johnny Varel's is gonna use in Jackson, Tennessee, or what I'm gonna use in Western Iowa are two different things this delivery system will deliver. That's fantastic. Thank you both. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about the upcoming growing season too, Kelly. I mean, before you know it, we are going to see planters going. I've seen a lot of, I live in Missouri, a lot of fertilizers being applied. Oh my gosh, but it's been so dry. Um, how do you, how do you best, you know, prep your fields when we know we're going into con some consecutive dry years? Here? Yes. You know, we do have more moisture than we had a year ago but it's still a concern to be dry. I, uh, I feel that, you know, the weather forecast I get, I think it's gonna turn cold again. And I, the, I'm not ready to plant. I think we need to wait, um, but uh, it's coming. And, it, and it's not gonna stop coming, but the soil looks nice. You know, it could always be a little wetter, but be careful what you wish for. Oh my gosh, so you're saying I don't want to jinx everyone no, else out there, yeah? We don't want to turn it into a monsoon season. <laughs> well, thank you both for joining me here at Commodity Classic today. Peter, is there anything else you'd like to say about Maristem's awesome lineup um, of offerings for farmers? Yeah, so no, I appreciate that. I mean, we're, we're, uh, you know, we're all about producing more bushels for less, you know, and we have a saying, winners go fast. You know, and, and, and when we say that, it's because we're trying to provide products that are beneficial to the farm, and, but that are easy to use in an efficient manner, right? So with, with the biocapsule technology, the way we're able to deliver multiple components to, to the planter in a, way, in, in, a, in, a, in a way that the farmer's already doing something, right? They're already using tau graphite. Mm -hmm. So we're able to, to, to provide technology that they can use easily at that time and easily with, without increasing labor, without increasing time, uh, you know, time, you know, hours on these tractors, everything costs more money than it used to. So anything we can do to speed up the, the farmer and, and make them more efficient, 
we all win. Uh, and I think the, the other major exciting thing we have is, is now we've, we've expanded our, our biocapsule uh, technology into a liquid uh, version. So we'll have a, uh, we have a liquid version now where we will deliver beneficial biology, maybe the future biofungicides, things like that as they come out that we can add to liquid products in an easy way. So more to come from, from Maristem for sure. Well, and before we go, where can folks find Maristem here at the Commodity Classic? Well, we're right here uh, up on the third floor of, of the uh, Commodity Classic. So come out and see us. We're right by the lunch area. Very easy to find. And we look forward to seeing you and talking to you. Kelly, Peter, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you all for joining us for this update from Maristem. I'm Kara Hart for Brownfield at the Commodity Classic.